Hello CA final students. In this video, we are going to try a question on modification of equity settled plan um, from in days 102 share based payments. So maximum it will take 15 to 20 minutes. Please do not miss this video. Um, first, I'll read the question, discuss the related concepts and uh, try the answer. So without wasting time, let's quickly get into this. So listen, Shraddha Limited has granted 100 options to 500 employees. So 100 options, 500 employees on 1st April 2024. That is the grand date with a service condition of 4 years. Vesting period is 4 years. Exercise price is 125 per share. Fair value of option estimated on the grand date is 80, year end is 70. Should I take 80 or 70? See, if it is an equity settled plan, you should take the fair value estimated on the grand date. Whatever fluctuations happen at each reporting date is to be ignored. Because you have studied equity settled plans, fair value in equity settled plans should not be remeasured. If it was cash settled plan, we would have taken fair value at the end of each reporting date. But in case of equity settled plans, fair value at the end of each reporting date is to be ignored. Then why they have given? To confuse you. So you have to be very careful. I have studied fair value of option on the grand date is to be considered. Okay. Now on 1st April 2026, which means... 1st April 2024 was my grand date. So, 24, 25 over. 25, 26, second year also over. Third year beginning. When the fair value of option is 62, the directors repriced the plan. And as a result, uh, the fair value has become 75. And as a result, the fair value has become 75. Okay. So, directors repriced the plan means what? Directors have changed the, modified the plan by changing the exercise price. Before changing the exercise price, fair value of the plan was 62. Which means fair value means what? Expected expense of the company. Before changing, before modification, fair value was 62. And after modification, fair value has become 75. Which means the expense of the company has increased or the incremental fair value is 13. So, how to calculate incremental fair value? Incremental fair value is fair value of modified plan. Fair value of fair value after modification is 75 minus fair value of original plan. Okay, fair value of original plan on the date of modification. Today, before modification, it was 62. Then only we can find out what is the worth of the additional benefits given. What is the worth of the additional benefits given to calculate the worth of additional benefits given? Uh, you should take fair value of the modified plan that is 75 minus fair value of original plan that is 62. The difference is 13. Okay. Now, now the company also has granted 50 additional options. Okay. On the date of modification, they have given additional 50 options also to employees on the same day along with repricing agreement. Okay. 31st March 25, number of employees left, 1% estimated to leave, 5 employees left, 2% estimated to leave, 15 left. You know why they have given this information. Every question will be loaded with some estimates, percentage of departure rate, etc. So, they have given this information to calculate the expense to be recognized by the company each year. Okay. okay. So, this could be an 8 marks question for exam. 
before writing the answer before doing the answer what is the accounting of this modification Mod modification of share based payment for equity settled plan what if it decreases the benefits of employees what if the benefits of employees are decreased as a result of modification the benefit which we have offered is curtailed it is reduced then according to india's 102 account as if there is no modification account as if there is no modification no modification account as if there is no modification okay what if the modification the existing agreement has changed there is a modification and it increases the benefits of employees then recognize expense as if there is no modification first you recognize the expense as if there is no modification then compute incremental fair value we discussed how to calculate incremental fair value fair value of modified option minus fair value of original option on the date of modification so what you should do with this incremental fair value what you will do with this incremental fair value such incremental fair value should be amortized over the remaining vesting period recognize incremental fair value over the remaining vesting period you would have studied this this is purely a revision video on which we'll be trying that one question so let's move on to the answer from exam point of view what i'll do from exam point of view i'll write a note as per in days 102 okay as per in days 102 when there is modification of equity settled plan which increases the benefits of employees the following accounting is to be done first account as if there is no modification now identify incremental fair value and amortize it over the remaining vesting period okay so so let's start the calculation computation of expense to be recognized if there was no modification so first factor required to compute the expense of the company anyway company has signed an agreement we need to give options shares to employees so how much expense to be recognized in the first year first year there were 500 employees already 10 left which means on 30th 31st march 2025 there are 490 employees should i recognize expense on 490 employees no not on 490 employees and 1% estimated to leave per annum so what we will do on 31st march 25 it is 490 into 99% will be there on 31st march 26 into 99 percentage will be there on 31st march 27 and into 99% will be on 31st march 28 and that is the number of employees expected to complete 4 years time frame is yes or no so calculate 490 into 99% into 99% into 99% that is 475 are you clear now estimation on 31st march 26 on 31st march 26 number of employees let me estimate there were 500 at the beginning already 10 left already 5 left so there are 485 employees now th this is the number of employees on this particular date we estimated 2% uh, attrition rate so into 98% no estimation is required for first to two years because it is already over estimation is required for into 98% into 98% so how much you are getting 485 into 98% into 
96.98%, normally if it is 465.79, we can take it as 466. Okay, now um, 500 employees of which 10 left, 5 left and 15 left. So, there are 470 employees now on the reporting date. But I need number of employees expected to vest, which means completing 4 years. So, into 97%. 455.9 so we'll take 456 and finally last year do we need estimations no we will take 500 minus 10 minus 5 minus 15 minus 16 total employees existing completed vesting period is 454 454. Now, what is my calculation? Normal. That is one number of employees. This is the calculation required. Number of options, just take from the question 100. Fair value per option estimated on the grand date has to be consistently followed. So, we are calculating 470, 38 lakhs. Is the total expense estimated and for, for this plan the total expense estimated is 38 lakhs which is to be spread over four years so 9 lakh 50 is the first year expense nothing has been recognized previous year so you should recognize expense of 9 lakh 50 thousand okay second year we took the total 466 into 83 lakh 72 no, no, 37,28,000, sorry. Divided by 4. So, divided by 4 into 2. Cumulative expense up to current year is 18,64,000. This is the total expense for year 1 and year 2. Year 1 and year 2 together, 18,64,000. Of which 9,50,000 is already recognized. Therefore, how much more to be recognized? 9,14,000. Okay, then again, uh, 456 into 80, 36 lakh 48,000 divided by 4 into 3, 27 lakh 36,000 minus already expense recognized in first two years. So, balance and total 454 into 80, total 36 lakh 32,000. This should be the total expense, cumulative expense till year 4 is 36,32 of which already expense recognized in first year, second year, third year together is 27,36,000. So, this is the expense to be recognized. That is, if there was no modification, this is the expense to be recognized each year. Okay, 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 okay. But this is not my area. My area is accounting of modification. Okay. So, what if there is modification? In the given case, on 1st April 26, there is repricing. And incremental fair value is 13. And also, there is additional grant of 50 options. So, uh, this is happening on 1st April 26. So, additional expense will be recognized in 26, 27 and 27, 28. Next two years. Yes or no? Therefore, incremental expense. Let's find out. Let's find out incremental expense during 26, 27. So, we already recognized some expense. In addition to that, we will find out what is the number of employees on 31st March 27, 456. 100 options into incremental fair value spread over 2 years. Okay. So, incremental fair value should be spread over 2 years. So, 2 lakh incremental expenses 2,96,400. Plus, 
the accounting of that additional 50 options granted. With regard to 50 options, 1st April 26 is the grand date. With regard to that 50 options, 1st April 26 is the grand date. With regard to that 50 options, 1st April 26 is the grand date. And on that date, fair value, new fair value is 75. Therefore, 456 into 50 into 75. Because no expense has been recognized on this before. 75. Today's fair value, um, modification date fair value is 75 divided by 2 years. So, you should recognize. So, I am just cross-checking the calculation. So, 8,55,000. So, in year 3, in year 3, you will recognize 8,72,000. Plus this 2,96,400 and 8,55,000. In year 2, you will recognize a total expense of 20,23,400. So, there is the in expense has been increased. Yeah, because more benefits are given to employees, right? So, expense should increase. Year 4. Once you have done year 3, year 4 is just a repetition. So, year 4. There are finally 454 employees in 200 into 13. This is the total expense out of repricing, which is to be spread over two years, of which already we recognize 296,400. So, balance. So, 454 into 50 into 13 minus 296,400. 100 into 13 minus 296 400 just 293 800 454 into 15 to 75 minus 8 lakh 55 thousand it is 8 lakh 47 500 so total expense so for the first year we'll do employee benefit expense to share base payment reserve employee benefit expense slash p and l Share base payment reserve slash or brackets equity component being expense under the plan recognized. Repeat employee benefit expense slash P and L to share base payment reserve equity component 9,14,000 being expense under the plan recognized. Year 3 employee benefit expense slash share base uh, P and L to share base payment reserve being incremental. Uh, expense also recognized out of modification. Again, repeat. So, in this question, they are not asking journal entries, just computation of expense. Journal entry parts this part is actually fine. So, I hope this is clear. So, we'll come up with another question in the coming days. All the best. Thank you.